Well, on the way towards the gym. I can actually control this a whole lot better. Thank God. <sighs> Here it is. What the heck am I going to get into? Welcome back to Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc, where last time we had to introduce ourselves. Why did I have to make that so dramatic? I don't know. <laughs> but I've been having a lot of trouble saying Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc, just because I keep thinking it's Danganronpa Happy Trigger Havoc. Hey, come on. God, I had no idea this Host Peak Academy place was going to be such a pain in my balls. It really ain't that much different from the time I spent in Juvie. Hell, this place is even worse. Uh, um. And why isn't there anyone here? Walking through the halls, I didn't see a single person. This is bad. Isn't that like seriously not good? Uh. The they're just trying to spook us. They'll take those metal plates down later, I'm sure of it. Uh. All we can do now is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Why did I say nothing so weirdly? Well, hell, it ain't like I'm scared or nothing. Let's just get this over with. Hey, damn it. Hey, where's whoever called us here? What do you think? Mondo, stop! No running. Well, then. I too shall go. Hey, hey, wait! Don't leave me here all alone. Great, I'm alone again. And for more tutorial stuff, isn't that just lovely? Okay, time for some more tutorial action. You can tap the observe button in the bottom left to observe the room. Observing will display th what people and objects you can interact with. Also, tap and hold the screen to search the area you tapped. Okay. Use this when multiple points of interest are stacked on top of each other. Ah. Ooh. Oh. Well, uh. <laughs> I always forget that that's not how the player models work, but that's okay. So I can click this. Ah, I have all my things. Okay, I don't want to get into that, but Junko. Hey, what's up, girl? This is bad. I'm totally getting a bad vibe right now. Uh, Kyoko? A display case. There are all kinds of trophies and plaques inside. I didn't even tap on her. Of course, all the students go here are ultimate, right? Had trouble reading that again. I'm sorry, but there's just gonna be a lot of times where I just struggle with reading. <laughs> so this is probably just a tiny fraction of all their awards. Can I tap on her? And thank you. Hmm. Total silence. For whatever reason, she's the only one managing to stay calm. Or maybe I'm just imagining that. And Sayako? Nope. Sayaka. Jesus, I can't remember my names. Where are all the other students? Why are we the only ones here? Sorry, that was a weird cut because, again, interruptions are fun. <laughs> I think we're just ready to get in there because I don't need to look at anything else. Still filed, still filled, my goodness, with uneasy dread. I did what the announcement said and went to the gym. And I saw what was waiting for us there. Oh. It really does look like an entrance ceremony. Yo. See? Told ya. It's totally normal entrance ceremony stuff. Hero was right. But in a way, that just emphasized how completely not normal all of us were. Hey there! Howdy! Hello! Is everyone here? Good! Then let's get things rolling! Oh boy, here we go. You can pop up, please. I know you're here. You freaking tiny little bear. There you go. Stupid belly button. <laughs> huh? Uh, teddy bear? I'm not a teddy bear. You're very close to one. <laughs> I am Monokuma! And what species are you? A teddy bear. Exactly. It was the strangest thing I'd ever seen. Right before my eyes, it was... What I was seeing was... It was... Utterly incomprehensible. Nice to 
to meet you all. Such a bright voice and carefree attitude was completely out of place. And all that anxiety I'd been carrying with me suddenly transformed into outright fear. What? 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 That teddy bear can talk? <laughs> Calm down, I'm sure that's just the speaker inside it. Hey, come I on now. What do I do with your voice? Huh. <laughs> I mean, I'll try it, but that's not gonna guarantee anything. I told you already, I'm not a teddy bear. I'm not a Kuma. And I'm your head master. What? It moved? Seriously, man. Calm down. It's probably just a remote controlled toy or something. How dare you compare me to a child's plaything? You kept me deep. Deeper than the Mariana Trench. <laughs> My remote control system is so complex, even the folks at NASA can't recreate it or even comprehend it. Ah, but don't make me say stuff that might destroy Ness's streams. I just couldn't bear that. Well, bear that? Really? You are uh, unfortunate. Hmm. Now then, moving on. We really must hurry and get started. Come on. Giving up already? No other stupid bear puns? Now then. Quiet down now. Quiet down. Ah, okay, so. He has abandoned the gag. Good morning! Everyone, stand at attention and bow! And good morning! You hear me? Good morning! What's your you, problem? you don't have to say it back. Now then. now then! Let us commence with a most noteworthy and memorable entrance ceremony! First, let's talk a bit about what your school life here will be like. Now, ah, uh, make no mistake. You few students so full of potential represent the hope of the world. And to protect such splendid hope, you will all live a communal life together solely with the solely within the confines of this school. Oh my god, I've almost broke character. Everyone will live in a harmony together and adhere to the rules and regulations of the school. Huh? Hmm. And now then, regarding the end date for this communal life. There isn't one. In other words, you'll all be here until the day you die. Such is the school life you've been assigned. What? What did he just say? Until the day we d die? Yep. Oh, but fear not. You have quite an abundant budget, so you won't lack for all the common conveniences. Oh, That's okay. the least of our worries right now. Yeah, what the hell? You're saying I have to live here forever? You're screwing with us, right? I am not screwing with you. I am no liar. Of that you can be a hunted. Uh -huh. Ah, and just for your information, you're completely cut off from the outside world. So you don't have to worry about that daddy daddy land beyond these walls ever again. Cut off? So all of those metal plates are all over the school? They're there to keep us trapped in here? That's exactly what they're there for! No matter how much you may yell and scream for help, help would not come. So with all that in mind, feel free to live out your life here with reckless abandon. Hey, come, on. come on, what the hell is this? I don't care if the school or whatever else is behind it all, this is just really a bad joke. Damn yeah, you. cut this blank out, it isn't funny anymore. You keep saying this is a lie or a joke. A bunch of skeptics, all of you. What are you gonna do? But I guess you can't help it, huh? You all grew up in an age where you're taught to doubt your neighbor. Well, you'll have plenty of time to find out whether or not what I say is true. When that time comes, you'll see with your own eyeballs that I speak the undeniable truth. Most Having to leave here forever would be quite the problem. What's this? Come now, what's the matter with all of you? You decided of your own free will to attend Host Peak Academy, didn't you? And now, before the entrance ceremony is even finished, you've already decided you want to leave? Hey, oh, um... but you know. I guess I did forget to mention one thing. There is one way for you to leave the school. 
<laughs> really? As headmaster, I've crafted a special clause for those of you who would like to leave. I call it the graduation clause. Now, then. now let me tell you about this fun, fun little role. I was died out. <laughs> As I mentioned, in order to maintain an environment of harmony here, we rely on communal lifestyle. And if someone were to disrupt that ceremony, mm. harmony, Jesus, they and they alone would be allowed to leave the school. That, my students, is the graduation clause. What? What do you mean by disrupt the harmony? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. If one person were to murder another, M murder? Yes, indeed. Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting, how you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. The rest is up to you. Give it all, give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. Chill shot down my spine. You must kill someone if you want to leave. As soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. <laughs> I bet that got your brain juices flowing. Beat the hex out of a human catching the salmon, huh? Like I said before, you guys are the hope of the world, but you know. Taking that hope and seeing get murdered creates a dark and shadow of despair. And I just find that so darn exciting. What the, what the hell are you talking about? To kill each other is it's to kill each other is to kill each other. I'm sure there's a dictionary here somewhere if you need it. What are you saying? We know what it means. That's not the problem. Why do we have to kill each other? Say what? Yeah! Stop blabbering on with all that nonsense! Just let us go home already! Blabbering. Well, thank you for doing that. Jesus, I cannot do your voice for so long. <laughs> You guys just don't get it, do you? Let us go, let us go. You keep on saying the same thing over and over and over and over. Listen, from this moment on, this girl's your home, your life, your world. Got it? Yeah. And you can kill as much as you want to kill. So go ahead, go on a killing, killing spree. All right, come on. How long are you going to keep this up? Eh? You, know? you got us, okay? You scared the hell out of us, so you can go ahead and reveal the trick now. Huh? Reveal the trick? I'm yeah, cause, I mean, you know, this is all some kind of trick and all, right? So it's all like... Dude, shut the hell up and get out of my way. Shoving Hiro aside, Mondo placed himself in front of Monokuma, his voice rumbling like thunder. You're Listen up, Blank. This blank gone way too far. What the hell kind of joke is this? What's the matter? Joke? What you mean? Like your hair? You son of a <laughs> Mondo roared out, and there was a sudden boom. As the sound of the floorboards as he kicked off and launched himself into the air, he flew at Monokuma fast and straight as a bullet. He locked onto his target. Mondo? Mondo? Gotcha, you little piece of I don't know if you're a toy or a stuffed animal or whatever the hell. Mondo, you can talk about this. Way, I'm gonna rip you to Mondo, shit. we can talk about this. The violence against the headmaster is in violation of school regulations. Because of course it is, Monokuma. Shut the f up. Let me out of here, I swear to Christ. I'm gonna have to do a lot of censoring. Great. Which leads me to the question, why am I censoring on curse words instead of blood? Oh well. It's been done, so it's been done. Uh oh. Hey, damn it. What? No smart ass come back this time? Nothing. Piece of Stop that goddamn beeping, say something. Watch out. Watch out. Get rid of it. Huh? Hurry up and throw it. 
I don't know if her ferocity stunned him into silence or what, but without a word he did what he was told. He threw Monokuma. And as soon as he did... Yeah, you were gonna die. The hell? What the? That, that sure as blank wasn't a joke. It blew the hell up. There was a painful ring in my ears and I could smell gunpowder. Explosions might happen all the time in movies or whatever, but when it's in real life, I've never seen anything like it. But, but you know, this means that the teddy bear's been destroyed, right? Hey! I told you, I'm not a teddy bear, I'm Monokuma! And there he is once again! Wah! There's another one? D damn you. you son of a blank! You seriously tried to kill me just now! Of course! Uh, yes! I was so serious about trying to kill you. You did violate one of the school regulations after all. I'll let you off with a warning this time, but you better be careful from now on. Any naughty boy or girl who violates my rules won't get off with just a little sweat in the butt. This is bad. Hey, hey, so does this mean there's like a bunch more of you around somewhere? Yep. Monokumas have been placed all throughout the school, yes. Plus, don't forget the surveillance cameras installed everywhere. And if you're caught breaking any rules, well, you all just saw what happened, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I won't be so forgiving with my punishment next time, so don't let it happen again. That, that's not even punishment. That's just wrong. Well. Now then, lastly, to commemorate your joyous entry into our school, I have a little something for you. This is our student handbook. Pretty cool, huh? As you can see, it's fully digital. So naturally, we call it... The E-Handbook! Huh? Ahem! Yes! Well, moving on! This handbook is absolutely vital to a healthy school life, so don't lose it! When you sign it up, you will display your name. Always make sure you have the right one! Now... This is not your everyday notebook. It has so many more uses than that. What? Also, it's completely waterproof. Slash it, wash it, drown it. It'll keep on ticking. And thanks to it, space age design, it can withstand an impact force for up to 10 tons. Very resistant. It contains all our school regulations, so make sure you review them thoroughly. You don't hear me say this a lot, but any violation of school regulations would not be tolerated. Rules restrict, yes, but they also protect. Society, for example, will be utter chaos without laws. Yes, indeed. The same thing applies here, which is why it's crucial we have strict punishments in place of violators. Okay, well, that brings our entrance summary to a close. Bye bye! Please enjoy your abundantly dreary school life. And see ya! I thought that said dreary. I was like, what the heck does that mean? <laughs> and with that, he was gone, leaving us all in a state of shock. So guys, uh, how would you define what we just experienced? What the uh, why? I don't understand any of this. We, we have to l live here forever? Or kill? Wh what? What just happened? Calm down. Everyone, we need to just calm down. First, let's just take a second to summarize everything we just heard. Based on what Mama Kuma said, we essentially have two choices. Choice number one is that we each stay here, living a communal life together until the day we die. And the other choice is, if we want to get out of here alive, we have to kill someone, right? But killing someone, that's... We were abducted out of nowhere and stuffed into this place meant to look like a school? And now we're supposed to start killing each other? This is... This is... This is just... What is this? A lie is what it is. All these ridiculous things we heard. This all has to be fake. Right now, doesn't really matter if it's real or fake. What matters is... So in other words, is there anyone here who's seriously considering all of this? To that, nobody had a response. Keeping quiet myself, I looked around at the others. 
They all stared at one another, trying to gauge each other's thoughts. I can almost taste the hostility. And that's when it hit me. I realized the true terror hidden within the rules Monokuma had laid out. You must kill someone if you want to leave. Those words had planted vicious thoughts deep within each of us. Each of us became suspicious of everyone else. We were forced to wonder, is somebody going to betray us? And that is how my new school life began. This school, which had come out of nowhere to raise my hopes so high. It's not a school of hope. It's... It's a school of despair. Welcome to Despair, folks. Prologue. The end. Everyone's still alive. Makes sense. <laughs> to be continued. Uh -huh. Of course I'm gonna continue. This is a little bit too short. A few moments later. You received the school crest present. Sorry for the weird edit there because that has spoilers. I've been told that it has spoilers, so I skipped it. <laughs> You wanna save? Sure thing. What else would I do? <laughs> oh god, I'm such an idiot. You must kill someone if you wanna leave. My mind froze and my breath caught in my throat as I thought about that. I could feel paralyzing fear slowly making its way through my body, dominating every last nerve, and that was a little bit gibberish at the end. The air hung heavy on me, pressing down like a weight around my neck. It took everything I had just endured that weight to survive. Daily life. <laughs> but for as heavy as the air felt, all it took to pierce, it was her sharp words. And? So, what are you going to do now? Hey. Just standing around glaring at each other? Her pointed comment was directed at everyone in the room. It helped us pull us all back to reality. R right! She's right! Sometimes even if you're nervous or afraid, you just have to step forward. To forget such a simple fact, I can't forgive myself, I'm so ashamed! Police, someone hit me! I can't forgive myself! Somebody hit me! Punish me! A little bit there. Take your time. <laughs> Jesus, if you had to... If you have time to yell about it, you have time to do something about it. However... Perhaps, but what is the mission exactly? Stupid. Idiot. Look for a way out, duh. What the... And we totally need to find whoever was controlling that stupid bear and we beat the hell out of him. But, but... But... But before we do all that, maybe we should take a look at the handbook? It's probably best to check out the school regulations Monokuma mentioned before doing anything else. This is fine. True. If we stumble around with no clue what the rules are, something like that might happen again. Blank. All right. Fine. So then... then let's hurry up and check out the stupid rules already. Okay, so what are the rules? Makoto Naegi. After turning on my e-handbook, the first thing that appeared was my name. So just like Manakuma said, the owner's name showed up front and center. Then, from the main menu that popped up, I selected the school regulations icon. An itemized list appeared on screen. It was the school regulations. In other words, the rules being posed on us all. Students may reside only within the school. Leaving campus is an unacceptable use of time. Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be sleep seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is strictly prohibited as is destruction of surveillance cameras. Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate, unless they are discovered. Additional school regulations may be added as necessary. Feeling a slight dizziness, I raised my face up from the screen. 
As I looked around, I saw the same stormy expression on everyone's faces. This is blank. What the hell kind of rules are these? I'm not gonna let them control me. <laughs> well then, why don't you wander around the school without a care in the world and see what happens? Personally, I'd love to see what happens when someone breaks one of the rules. However, but if he got punished like what we saw before, I don't think there'd be a respawn waiting for him. <sighs> Yo. I. Ever since I was a kid, I grew up with my older brother pounding this into my head. When a man makes a promise, he has to keep it, even if it kills him. And... So what? what? I made a ton of promises that I still have to keep. That's so what? Piece of so I can't afford to die in here. None of that made sense to me. But you're saying you will follow the regulations, is that it? That's true. <sighs> oh, well, yeah. I guess you're right. Hey, um, I have a question. For regulations number six, what do you think it means exactly? Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate, unless they are discovered. You're talking about the second half, right? Where it says, unless they are discovered? I was wondering about that myself. Hmm. It's saying that if you want to graduate, you have to kill someone without anyone finding out it was you. But, but why? Why do we ha have to do that? I don't see any reason to worry about it. Just worry about following the rules as they've been explained to us. Such. Frankly, I don't want to hear anything from someone who waits for others to decide what to do for them. Don't, don't jab at me. me More like a full-on stab. Well, for now, let's forget all that silly chunk about murderers or whatever. Okay. Now that we know the rules, let's start exploring the school. True. We need to find out what where exactly we are. Is there any way out? What about food and supplies? There are tons of questions we need to answer. Damn straight! Okay, then let's all start looking around. Hmm. Pounded my charger. I'll be going alone. What? Huh? Why? That's a pretty stupid idea, don't you think? Hmm. Someone here might already have been starting to thinking about murdering one of us. Are you saying we could... We should stand around with them in our midst and make it much easier for them? Wait, hold on a second. That would never... What? Don't bother saying it couldn't happen. You can't deny the possibility. That's why you all sized up with fear when that graduation rule was made clear to you. <laughs> Am I wrong? Uh, um... But... but uh -huh. hmm. So, I'm simply acting in accordance with what I think is best for me. Just hold on. Hold on, like how I'm gonna let you run off and do whatever you want. What? Out of my way, Plankton. What? What? The fudge that supposed to mean? Such ignorance. One tiny bit of Plankton drifting across the sea. So minuscule. So insignificant. They couldn't possibly have any kind of influence on the boundless ocean. You're fucking dead. I'm gonna kick your ass. S stop it, we shouldn't fight. What? The blank you just say? You, just, you some kind of goody goody little blank? You wanna throw down? Who do you think you are talking to me like that? You think you're my blanking dad or something? N no, I wasn't. You son of a blank you. Wham. Jesus. He punched me. I flew back in a heap. It was like something straight out of a comic book. I didn't even see the punch coming. It's just suddenly right there in my face. One second I was standing there and the next I was soaring through the air. Now that I think about it, maybe I kind of forgotten. The kind of people I've been trapped here with. My common sense had just stopped functioning. Being around all these ultimates had blown my fuses. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised that I led to something as absurd as this. But I just... Lost track of that sense of reality. That was my last thought as my consciousness started to fade. Before I finally cut out completely. And when I finally opened my eyes again, what I saw was...
Yeah. Huh? Wh where am I? As if I had... As if it had become part of my daily routine, I woke up in a yet another room I'd never seen before. Okay, so... Where am I now? You now have access to the handbook menu. You can use this to check info. Open the handbook menu by tapping the handbook button on the bottom left. You can use this menu to check the school regulations and character info. At certain points, map and truth bullets may not be available. You can also save and load game data under the system section. Finally, tap the log button to review the transcripts. This records all pertinent info, so use this to review everyone's comments. Huh. I guess this is sort of my room? What the heck? But anyways guys, that is where I'm going to end it off. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. And all that you have a jab and I will see you soon. Oh goodness me. Something's going to be screwed up. I know it. I know this game. And, well, I'm going to take it head on, buddy. You're fine. So fine. But the question is, what will it take to make you mine? Where have you been for all this time? I question myself, how come this beautiful thing ain't mine?